and we've been joined by Charlie. Hello. Oh, what? Huh. Yeah. I, I, I kind of had to tackle John so he didn't take the seat. Charlie, I'm sorry, you're, you're not getting him yet. You're going to have to come over, buddy. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I'll, I'll survive. I'll cry my tears after we've finished. <laughs> that's that's good um so you're with us this week then to uh take us through game found uh, I, and ha have a look at the damned and, and how indeed. people go about setting it up yes indeed indeed do you want to drive dive drive straight dive straight into it we, we can drive that way or dive that way it's entirely up to you cool. yeah. i don't know do I, prefer, I think diving sounds a bit more exciting <laughs> it's, it's a little bit more we it's certainly good for ben Right, here we go. Screen share. Mm. Cool. So head over to the GameFound website. Um, you can type in the damned at the top here. Uh, but at the moment, we're in the top three uh, most funded campaigns on GameFound. Very awesome. Um, 14 days left to go. Um, so hopefully we'll stay up there. Uh, these guys are obviously a bit closer to their uh, their end goal. Obviously, this one's nearly finished. One day left. Mm. Um, no idea what it is. Age of Steam. Looks nice. Oh, good uh, God. Thank God Lloyd's not here. Hex and trains. <laughs> he likes trains. He and hexes. Trains. Oh, there you go. Perfect for Ben and Lloyd's <laughs> terrible love child. <laughs> oh, dear. So um, you're going to want to uh, click on the dams, and it'll take you straight over there. Uh, so we do that. It'll take you over. Um, lots of lovely pictures. If you haven't seen it already, please head over and have a little look. Mm. Um the kind of scroll through the page, so we've got a little bit of a. Did I see a, someone on a sheep? Yeah, there's a, a hound leaping a sheep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so the the, the, the wonderful course. guys that were were sculpting the hounds um, when the hounds got unlocked, I got a little bit excited, and they've also been working on farm animals, as you can see. Yes. Um, so yeah, why not? Um, <laughs> they oh, okay. had, My brain just had to process. Yeah, we've just actually run a poll. In fact, I might be able to take you over there. So we had to update. This is already on a tangent um, to see if anybody wants a, a free STL of <laughs> that. Um, so any backers. And uh, at present, it's 73% uh, yeah, say yes. Yeah. Um, there's no reason Fair. you would say no, you know, yeah. unless you, you don't have a 3D printer, which is those 53 people there, I'm guessing. Yeah. I mean, um, more, more stuff is better than less stuff. Less so, stuff. yeah, let's go. That's exactly. So, um, so yeah, we'll probably be giving that, uh, that STL away to all the, all backers. So, um, that's the hounds. Um, and, and so that'll kind of lead us in nicely to uh, where we're going to go next with, uh, back in the project. So, um, for those that haven't seen it, please take a look. Um, I'll do a quick whistle top whistle stop tour. Um, so we go into a little bit, just blurb of what is the damned. It's all going to be in hard plastic multi-part kits. There's a, a beautiful painted photo by the guys at uh, Cult of Paint have done for us there. Um, and then you go into your rewards. So you've got your rewards here. Um, we've got the 10 box reward as, as the featured because that's the one with the, the greatest saving against um, pounds. And it's not actually the greatest. There's a bigger one than that. But this is the sensible greatest saving. <laughs> um, Who wants to be sensible? <laughs> and you've got um, 15 free sprues um, available at the moment with more to come. Um, and then you've got your three box, your five box, and then your big boy uh, 15 box reward where you get a whopping $174 saving against the RRP. Um, and I think it's up to 54 free sprues, uh, depending on how far the campaign nice. goes. Mm -hmm. Cool. So we'll come back to this because this is kind of where you would build your pledge. Uh, we've then got retailer pledges for stores. So any stores that want to get involved nice and early, uh, they can do that. Really pleased with this graphic. Damned deliveries around the back. You know, so <laughs> I had lots of fun doing that one. <laughs> uh, then you've got your add-ons. So we've got like the most recently um, unlocked products at the top. So you've got your hounds, your outriders, your damned infantry, brutes, weapons, teams, command and uh, 25 mil textured bases. Again, you can add these to your pledge here. But then the rewards and spoils, this is the fun bit. So this just kind of talks you through um, what you, what the various rewards are and the spoils that you get from those rewards. So we start out with a three box reward uh, where you're getting a 20 plus dollar saving and up to 14 sprues. So that number there is if we get to the 300,000 uh, mark, 
Um, and then we're listing out the, the, the boxes that you can choose from. So all of these rewards are pick and mix. So it's a three box reward and you mm. can choose any three of the list there, which is your infantry, brutes, weapons teams, command, outriders and hounds. Um, and very, very soon to be uh, female infantry. Um, we, we did a little promotion of um, shares and retweets um, and we're, we're, we're rocketing up on, on those numbers. And, and I believe the boss is going to pull a fast one on me and um, probably release them early. <laughs> so by, by the time people are watching this, there's a good chance that the female infantry will have been a lot. Have, have we seen any of the female infantry yet? Oh, yes. Have you teased them? Okay, sorry, we, uh, I, I haven't seen them and I am curious. Yes, no, we have indeed. I'll um, I'll jump on to the fact. I can do it really quickly. Head right over to the updates. Sorry, uh, I am Mr. Tangent. Yeah, no, that's no, cool. Um, it was one of the real early updates, yeah. like as we were waiting to go live. Um, I believe uh, we've got some females in the uh, the hands and handlers, so there'll be some female bodies and uh, arms and heads in in the hands uh, box. And I believe it was like right as we were kind of getting ready to go live. Either that or they've just been. So I, I think they're on Facebook page, but Facebook. you're right. It was indeed uh, on yeah. Facebook. We'll have to. Oh, well. uh, that's yeah, fine. You, you guys can do through the, the wizardry of editing. Yeah. It's all right. I, 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 Charlie, just send it to me. I'll bring it up. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so um, then we've got so we've got the five box, which is pretty much the same as the um, three box. The concepts there: choose any five of of those boxes and up to twenty free sprues. And then we've got like a list of um, where you get those kind of free sprues from. So five for being a five box reward plus one for following the campaign, plus one for reaching 666 backers, which we've done, uh, plus one more if you're back within the first 24 hours. So that one won't appear within the rewards. We have to add the the early bird reward in the pledge manager. So okay, right. yeah. you won't see that on the rewards, but it will get added in when we get through to, to pledge manage, uh, manager status. Uh, same again for 10 bucks, but now we've got a hundred dollar saving and then um the, the 15 bucks. So yeah, the, the concept kind of just rolls on from, from one to the next. Mm -hmm. Um and then below that is all your stretch goals. Um in fact, there you go, there's some female infantry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but gone a little bit further down the page with the fans. <laughs> and they look hard on us. come Friday, we should have um uh, parts and stuff to show everybody because um, the the sculptor is working on them now. Good old Rob, bless him. We've worked him to the bone, um, and he's working on parts and stuff for the female infantry at the moment. Mm. Um, and then we've got your chance to put your head on the sprue, uh, more free sprues, the artillery. Uh, this is all probably going to drop by 10K because we're going to unlock the female infantry through that um, sort of share and read the social goals. Yeah. We'll just yeah. like pull everything forward by 10 K, yeah. um, mm -hmm. which means, uh, the next big one, um, which, well, we've got, a, we're going to run a poll for stuff in here. Um, in fact, you can hear it first, um, on the weekender, uh, some of the things that you'll be able to choose from, um, uh, will be, uh, gene modified infantry, which is Ooh. essentially, uh, beast men. Um, Heavy infantry, which is just damned infantry, but with more armor, bigger guns, you know, heavier, heavier gear. Um, the mutation sprue will go into this, um, and, and potentially um, a couple more. So that's at the two sixty k. Another free sprue at two seventy, and then whatever the runner up is from that poll will get added into two eighty. Um, and then we've got the uh, the vehicle at mm -hmm. uh, three hundred. But bear in mind, this is probably all going to end up being. 10k earlier so this will probably be at like the 290 mark uh once those female infantry get unlocked nice bonus i do like the idea of doing po polls to actually see what folks are after yeah, you know, it, yeah. It's, it's something more games atlantic do really really well is they're always looking for you know what do the community want what do they want to see us create and i really really respect that Thank you. Well, one, it's funny. One of the one of the things that we've realised as we got into the campaign, we've been we've tried to be very reactive, very responsive to what people have had to say, um, and and they're taking their comments on board. And a lot of it was, we need to stop treating this separately to how we would normally do business. So when we were thinking about, well, what, what are we going to do about shipping? How do we get shipping right? So well, why would it be any different to how we do shipping on our own website? You know, so basically every pledge over $50 gets free shipping 
worldwide because that's what we do on the website and we're using the same um we use the same warehouses that we yeah. use for for standard shipping for game found um in fact what we're doing is we're actually adding in a fourth warehouse in europe um so that we can avoid um the guys having to pay import duties on top of their duties oh nice um so there's no should be no hidden surprises um on fulfillment for for any eu backers um we've also agreed because the game found platform kind of insists on charging vat on top um of the pledge to anybody in the eu we're going to give all those um eu backers a couple of free boxes during the pledge manager um to compensate nice. for the additional you know vat that they've yeah. paid on on top um so basically the, the eu guys are just getting more stuff for their for their money which is is good mm-hmm. so exciting stuff right so pledging there's loads of places you can do it. you've seen as i've scrolled down when you get to the rewards you can hit add this to my pledge um but you can also do it from the top end here so hit yourself a follow because that's going to keep you in touch with what's going on with the, the campaign absolutely no reason you wouldn't do that uh, also gives you an extra free sprue so Go, go ahead and do it. Um, and then hit back this project. And it takes you right down to the rewards. So um, I'm going to be ambitious and assume everybody wants a nice big 10 box deal because <laughs> getting up to 27 free sprues, which is tons of free product. Um, like I say, if you work on the basis that a, a box is maximum going to be four sprues, um, some boxes will be three, like the um, the Brutes and the Outriders. Mm. Um, you're getting, um, what's that, five, six, seven free boxes plus um, an extra sprue on top if it's if you took all infantry, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, if you took Brutes and stuff, it's it's even more. I so have we think hit... one thing I like before we move on. Yeah. See that stretch pay? Yes. Splitting up your costs. I haven't yes. seen that before. So if yes. you want to go big, you don't have to dump it in one shot. Indeed. So um, we've we've uh, partnered with um, GameFan. This is a little thing that they uh, allow um, creators to do. Um, it's a choice. You don't have to do it. You can do it. And then you get to kind of um, play around with it a little bit. So hmm. basically any pledge that's over $200 uh, will get access to stretch pay. Um, it allows you to split your payments over three months. Hence hmm. the reason it's showing there at $99.67 per month. That's cool. Um, and there's no additional um, interest on that. It's just a flat rate, zero percent. Split your payment out over three right. months. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously, like I say, you can see it on the <clears throat> the ninety nine dollar one. Um, and then if you go to your your, your fifteen box one, it's one hundred forty one dollars over mm-hmm. over three months. So obviously, nice. everybody's got a flexible hobby budget. Um, this is just kind of making it easier for you to get you know more more of stuff and split it out over three months. Yeah, yeah. Does what it says on the tip. So we hit add to pledge, um, and it uh, brings up this lovely little window. Now, if you want to, you can just hit confirm. And I've got to stress this to all backers: you do not need to lock in the boxes that you want. Now you'll be able to do that when it gets to the pledge manager. You'll be able to mess around with it to your heart's content because when it gets to the pledge manager. Um, the the rewards will be what they are. Throughout the campaign, as we're unlocking more products and unlocking more freebies, these contents here are going to change. So at the moment, the 10-box deal has um, 16 free sprues available to it. But as we unlock the female inventory, that will go up to 17 free sprues and so on and so forth. And it will keep going up as, as more things get unlocked. Unfortunately, um, the game found campaign doesn't um, update your pledge once you've kind of hit confirm. So you have to go back in and just remove the 10 box reward and add the 10 box reward back in. Um, don't worry about it. You don't need to do that. You can do that when it gets to the pledge um, pledge manager um, status of the campaign and you'll be able to you know play around with it. Um, and even once you've hit confirm here, uh, and you've committed. If I let's say if I hit confirm now, it basically say I'm getting ten boxes of infantry. That's fine because when it gets to pledge manager, I'll be able to change it up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But if you want to have a play around, you hit this little split item thing here, um, and then it starts to split it out. So you've uh-huh. got nine boxes. So let's let's say I want four boxes of infantry. 
So I'll just hit split it out until it gets to four, and it's, I've selected damned infantry. And then I'm going to add in a brute. I'm going to add in a weapons team. I'm going to add in command and outriders and a box of hounds. And then for free sprues, well, you've got a huge list because not only have we oh, added okay. in the stuff that gets unlocked throughout the campaign, we've also added in all of the uh, existing death fields. Sprues. Right. Mm-hmm. So That's you might nice. choose to split this out 16 times <laughs> and choose a different frame. Sample everything. All yeah. the way through, exactly, you know, and, and so on and so forth. But the point of kind of adding this in was so that people could see the flexibility in it. Like yeah. I say, you don't need to worry about, you know, committing to anything straight away. Um, you can just go ahead, hit confirm, um, and submit your pledge. So you get to submit pledge. Um, it acts. It asks for the country that you're in. So um, if you you can st- stick in um, a search, uh, United Kingdom, um, and I can't remember which way around it is, but weirdly, if you click um, United Kingdom by itself, it, it randomly adds tax, or it was. I think they might have fixed that. We did ask the game fan guys to go in and We're adjust. We're special. So then, <laughs> well, hang on, hang on. We're Schrodinger's European. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I don't, you know, let's one other day we could discuss that. Um, you're like the, you know, it's the back door to Europe, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> um, so um, you do this, um, and then you basically go right. Um, you, you choose your payment option. Um, I did mine on my phone, mm-hmm. so you can do Apple Pay on your phone and mm-hmm. just make it super easy, nice. fills out all your details for you. You've obviously got Google Pay and um, a credit card. You click, I agree to uh, the terms, and then you click pledge. Um, but if you wanted to, you can go away from this screen. In fact, what might be easier, um, if I stop this screen share mm-hmm. um, and <clears throat> open up my existing pledge on um, GameFound. Right, here we go. So um, because I've been constantly messing around, it's been like the, the <laughs> I went in and pledged. I think I was back at 77, which is really annoying because I was at, um, I, think I, was, I think we were in Legoland at the time with the, uh, with the kids. And I was on my phone, like trying to pledge like straight away. I, like, I will be back at number one. <laughs> it was my responsibility. <laughs> To be back at number one. First. And it was like it was just like, no, no, no. Legoland uh, Wi-Fi does not have capacity for you to mess around <laughs> game back. I ended up going in. And by the time I got it to work, about 50 later, it's like, oh, you're back at number 77. <laughs> so hang on, you were buying toys, but looking at the more expensive toys. More expensive toys. <laughs> now, which one was the more expensive toys, though? Bear in mind, I was in the Lego Lego, Lego clearly. <laughs> yeah. Still in front of the Millennium Falcon and thinking... <laughs> How do I get Jennifer to let me spend seven hundred pounds? <laughs> Needless to say, I came away with just one of those little dioramas, mm-hmm. <laughs> sixty quid or something. Um, so, because I've been messing around with it, it's got my kind of pledges like open at the moment. So you'll kind of see this area here where I can kind of cancel um, my um, fifteen box deal, but I can also hit manage pledge um, and. On it's weirdly, but on your phone when you hit manage pledge, you can add in um, new products. There we go. So we cancelled that off. Um, and normally it would act, it would allow you to kind of add in additional products. Weirdly, on your mobile, it's slightly different. Um, so you hit select reward, confirm, um, continue browsing, and then you can go ahead and go right. I'm going to add. I want to add a, a three box deal. I don't. I don't want to go fifteen boxes, but I want to do you know thirteen. So ah, I, I see. Right. And then you yeah. click. You can click continue browsing. You can see up there. It's got ah. ten box and three box. And it separates them out. Then that's cool. it. Does yeah. yeah. On the nice. mobile, when you do it on a mobile, it's all in one screen. So as you delete product, it says add product, and then you just kind of have a little drop down of like three box, five box, ten box, fifteen box. And then obviously the retailer pledge. And on the mobile, you can kind of just, you know, pick and choose like that. Right. Possibly a silly question, Charlie. So you see the way you've, so you've got your 10 box deal and you've added your three box deal. Yeah. 
By adding the three box deal, do you get the the free sprues for that deal on top? You do indeed, yes. Okay. Because the free the free sprues are built into those deals. Mm-hmm. So again, you know, you might not want, you know, 13, you could go right, I want a three box and a five box. You just yeah. hit add to pledge, continue browsing, and it is there. And then you might think, cool. you know what? I want another couple of products. So I click add on and then I go right, I'm just gonna add the hounds. Yeah. Um, or you know what actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of these um 25 mil base. Yeah. Um and you just can keep kind of adding, continue browsing. Yeah. And then when you go cool. um you can either submit the pledge from there or you could go manage pledge and then you can see everything on the screen. So you might go, actually, you know what? I, I don't need the three box. I just mm-hmm. need this five box deal plus these extra bits. And I drop the hounds, but I'm gonna increase my textured bases up to three boxes. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you go ahead and, and click checkout. So mm-hmm. there's a difference between your pledge and the rewards, which is really the message that I wanted to get across was um, you build your pledge by adding rewards and add-ons mm-hmm. to your cart, which is essentially your pledge. And then you hit submit. But even once you've submitted that pledge um, and you've gone through the checkout process, has it, saved my details no it hasn't so you go through the checkout process um you can then go back and manipulate that pledge anytime you like um mm-hmm. very cool even even once you've hit checkout nice um so you'll always be able to manipulate it up and down during the the campaign once it gets to the pledge manager the campaign's ended you can't reduce your, your pledge down you can only uh, you can only increase the size of your pledge. It's a it's a game found thing. Um, I think we have got like a two week um, kind of cancel period. So um, like if if the campaign ends and for whatever reason your circumstances have changed, you'll get a chance to um, to to cancel your pledge down. Very cool. Um, and that is hopefully cleared things up and, and not made it more complicated. <laughs> Honestly, it's one of the most flexible campaigns I've ever seen for what you want to grab. So if you're grabbing that 10 box and you go, well, I've got sort of an army in mind, but I need a few more sprues, a few more boxes. I'll just pick either the units I want, or maybe I go for the deal and get some extra free stuff. That's yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah. And every time you add a new reward in, you're adding more free stuff to your, uh, to your pledge and, and every time we unlock new stuff those rewards the value of those rewards gets bigger and bigger mm-hmm. um and you know you could you know your, your hobby budget might be like limited you go in for a three box and then during the pledge manager you might choose to add another three box to it mm-hmm. and you double your freebie by adding that extra three box mm-hmm. reward in so yeah there's there's loads of ways of doing it um the 15 box deal is insane value i think it's currently sitting at 30 32 um free sprues um, and a hundred and seventy dollars saving against the uh, the RRP. So, yeah, hopefully, what we've got to by listening to the community, reacting, um, you know, not being stubborn because we're we're not we're not is it prideful? We're not proud people. Um, you know, we, <laughs> we want to give we want to give the community what they want. Um, yeah. I've got to a point where I'm you know really 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 proud of where the campaign's at. Um, you know, I can't. I can't think of any way we could now improve it without, you know, creating additional risk. Um, so yeah, oh, I, think- I mean, the only thing I would add is Jerry as a chaos sorcerer. <laughs> Maybe a bearded. Uh, we do need to go on the command frame, perhaps. I'm already in the dark yeah, no, age. Irish brute doesn't matter. There is, um, there, there is a sorcerer uh, a body now. I will. Uh, I'll, in fact, if it's in that it's in that folder I've shared with you guys. Um, go and check it out. Maybe you can bring it up. And- Jerry, Jerry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. I I exist everywhere across many dark age frames. Yeah, well, in fact, uh, we could probably you know if you wanted to, you wanted to make loads of Jerry's. Just grab our dark age Irish sprue. Yeah. Um, and, and although it's not in the campaign, the plan is to probably l- let people choose any frame that War Games Atlantic has produced during the pledge manager as your freebies. 
Um, we just didn't want to make this list like, it, it so what? like every freebie is just a dark age Irish just for the head. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. definitely you'll, you'll definitely have to pick out all the on tabletop fans from the, uh, from, the <laughs> from the backers of all the guys that have added at least one dark age Irish frame to their, to their pledge. <laughs> So yeah, no, fingers crossed. It's now just down to the community, you know, go and have fun, have at it. Uh, we've got another, I think it's after the female infantry, another four products to unlock. So it's the artillery, two secret ones, um, which will be chosen by the community and, and then the vehicle. Um, and they're well within reach. We're talking probably just over 100K, which is less than kind of double where we are right now. Um, so it's it's definitely doable. Uh, we've got another two weeks, um, two weeks today to run, two weeks Thursday. Hmm. So um, it'll be what will be thirteen days. Thirteen um, days come, left. Come this going live. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to show us how the pick and mix selection works on Game Found Charlie. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.